Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have such a fun little quick folio for you guys. Um, I had a few ways to make this, um, but it was getting a little complicated. I'm like, okay, I wanna make this really simple and really easy so that people can just knock them out. Um, you can alter it however you want, but it's a simple little folio and I've got like this little, well, actually it's not little, it's pretty big. So this would be ideal like, so the spine I've done almost like a, like a traveler notebook type thing. So if you're gifting or something, uh, maybe like a notepad could go in here, like one of those really long notepads because you've got a little wiggle room in here. And then so many people always comment how they love the tea swap thing. So I wanted to make this a really nice size for tea swaps. Of course, you can alter this method to make it bigger, to make it smaller, um, just the idea. And you can always, you know, replace different things in it. So it's got your little pocket here, here, and then on this side, and the same that this. But it's really easy. You could even put what you want here. But again, and I'm making these really, really simple. Um, and I'll show you a way you can like alter it if you want a little bit more wiggle room. But I actually think it's fine just the way it is. All right. So let's start with the cover because that's really simple. Grab your scoreboard. And let's see here, where is my cover? Okay, so cover is gonna be pretty simple. It's gonna be an eight by eight sheet of paper. And I tried to use my eight by eight paper pad uh, sizing as well as um, like a six by eight paper pad. But this will be great for just a 12 inch sheet of paper too. I feel like I just cut this a little crooked. All right, my uh, cover may be a little wonky. And bone folder, where are you? Okay, so we're going to go ahead, um, you know, it's eight inches, so whatever side your pattern's on, but we're going to score it at three and three quarters, four and four and a quarter. So three and three quarter. Oh, I am not used to this bone folder. It's a little bit sharper. Three and three quarter, four and four and a quarter. All right, so it's going to give you like those three little you can see every time I start my camera you guys it gets cloudy <laughs> so um, you see the three lines so kind of just gives it a nice little fold so you can absolutely just like kind of fold those in I'm gonna fold this side in I'm gonna fold that middle one in just to give you that little rounded spine so that you have some wiggle room just like that so it should be like a little kind of like a rounded circle all right so spines done that's super easy or covers done so we'll go ahead and put that aside All right, and let's go ahead and do our inside pockets. So we're gonna use, do, you're gonna do this twice, and we're gonna grab a four by eight sheet of paper. Now at the eight inch side, let me see, which way do I want my cover to be? Okay, I want this to be like this. So um, at the eight inch side, we're gonna score it at one and four and a half inches. So one, this is gonna be our little tab and four and a half. Now, normally I would do this little tab like smaller, um, cause that's the part we're gonna be tucking in, but I left it like this cause I feel like it was simple. Also, basically, um, hold on, let me finish scoring this. So let's turn the paper real quick to the four inch side. And we're gonna score this. This is all preference, but it's just one inch, okay? So, let me make sure my pattern is right. I guess it doesn't matter on this one. So, why don't you, let me take this out of the way for a minute. All right, so, you've got your little, the one inch side right here. And then we have this side here. So, this side's going to fold. So, Normally I would make like a little score here so you can tuck it in and then glue it down. But I left it like this because again, I wanted the scores to be really simple and I wanted this album to be really quick. So this is gonna be the tab we're kind of tucking in the page. 
And then this is gonna be our little bottom pocket right here. So we're gonna go ahead and just do our little cutting. I'm gonna flip this over so you guys can see better because the print is just, oof. So um, remember, this is our little one inch score here. We're just gonna cut out this little box right here. So my line is right there. Okay, so you've got that. And then we're just gonna cut this right here, this little middle spot. Now I've done things like this before. Okay, and then I'm gonna round mine, so I'm just gonna fold mine in half and round it now. And so I just take that. All right, so then you're just gonna go ahead and take your little pockets and basically just flip them out like that. And then turn it around and do the other one. So, so simple. And I feel like it's an easy way to glue down. Just everything is really easy. And we're gonna do this twice. I've already done my other one, so you guys don't have to watch me do it again. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this first. So just kind of your little scores right there. So I usually do this page right here. My glue wants to cooperate with me, you guys know. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm just gonna do right here. You can tape it, glue it, whatever you got, and then just the bottom. And then just go ahead and glue that down. And I felt like you didn't really need a little, um, an extra thing. So if you want, like an advanced crafter, you could make this a half an inch and then make that your little tab on the end. But I feel like this is just quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue the pockets down. If you wanna leave the tabs out for some fun flippy thing, you can do that too. And then do it, go on the back and do the same thing. All right, so there's that. And I do have another one that I have already done right here. So we've got two of these, okay? So we're gonna go back to our little cover that we did. And now we're just gonna paste these basically in. So for my little inside cover here to tuck this in, it's just gonna be a three and a half by seven and a half inch paper. And basically just gonna, for newbies, just do this. And we're going to basically glue that down like that. <clears throat> and then we're gonna do the same thing to the other one and just I'll kind of align it where you want. So let me actually take these T's out because I wanna see the height of my pocket because you don't want your T sticking out. So I'm gonna tuck this in here and I'm gonna tuck this one in too. All right, so I want it to kind of be like right there, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna go ahead and glue that right here. You can use tape. Honestly, for this, I think kind of prefer tape because I don't really like gluing long sheets of paper because I feel like <clears throat> it could get a little frumpy. Like this one is a little frumpy because I glued it. So if you have the time, go ahead and tape it. Oop, and that is crooked. Okay. It must have been the way I scored it. Okay, so that's the first one. So you'll see it's just kind of on there. Crooked. Let me fix this. I don't know if I cut my paper crooked or I scored this crooked. I used that score that I don't usually use, so. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. So you see what I mean? This is super easy to, um, this is driving me crazy because it's crooked. Um, this is really easy to resize because you see the method I'm using now. And this doesn't have to be this big, but I feel like it's a good way for maybe a beginner to kind of figure this out too. So I've got both those glued on. And then you're just gonna basically glue this on. Now, if you want, 
You could even do a little side pocket and not like glue this all the way. You could just glue right here and then have a little side. But I feel like it's like a folio type thing, so I would just kind of leave it. And just ignore my crookedness over here. It's already too late. I also have to tear it off. And again, if you do have tape, use the tape because it will look a little frumpy like this when you're layering. And then you just pop that on. If you want to get really, like, if you want to really do another side, you could also do this on the other side. You don't have to do that pocket that I'm going to do. Okay, so you've got your two pockets right there. And then we're going to do this pocket right here, which is also pretty simple. And that is just going to be, I've got my scoreboard. It's just going to be a four by four and three quarters and we're going to score it at half an inch um on two sides so i'll show you so this is the four inch side right here just for reference just score it at a half an inch and then just take the bottom and score it again at a half an inch gonna notch off that little square right there and then I just kind of eyeball this actually hold on let me do my let me fold this in I need to see what it's looking like so just fold in your squares and then then cut it I'm gonna leave mine like that And I'm going to glue this on. I love the pockets like this because they're kind of deep, but yet they like hold, and they're, you only need two scores, but they hold a lot in just those two squares. I didn't push this one far enough to this side. So, voila, there is our thing. And, um... Of course, we can decorate it. So let me see what I got left in this pile. I'm gonna probably, here, let me show you what I did. So this is just a little embellishment. You can just kind of tuck that in here in your little front pocket. You could even, you know what would be really pretty is like, um, not just tea, but if you have little packs of sequins, like you're doing a swap, and you have the little sequins kind of coming here. You could even do like, um, you know, like a little punch so they can see the sequin. That would be really nice. I forgot to use that as an example, but I had thought about it last night. <clears throat> I'm just gonna take some double-sided foam tape and just pop that on just to put something there. And this is just a little sheet that I kind of stuck in here, but it's kind of uh, matching too much. Okay, and then you have your back, so don't forget your back, and then just decorate in there too. Are these like were just almost right, but not quite. These would be kind of pretty that came with this kit, though, to go in here. So when they have their tea, um, there's like, you know, a little saying on there. You could even like put a little glue dot and just so when they lift it, there's something on the back. And I like that. And so pretty, the peacock. But I feel like it's gonna, it is pretty, but I don't, it's going to cover the pocket, so I'm just going to leave that. I'm just going to stick some things in there. I've been using all these papers so much, I'm running out of all my, uh, my embellishments. But they are really pretty. I'm just going to stick that one on here, one over here. And some enamel dots. Just kind of sticking them on the pocket here. I 
love this typewriter, but I didn't know if it would fit. I guess that'll work. <clears throat> so I went to Lowe's. I started getting all my stuff for the spring. I think I'm going to have to do a raised bed this year because we have like so many ants in this part of Georgia. It's insane. And then also I'm working with, we have, Georgia has a lot of red clay. Um, and I'm, we have a lot of that. I've never really worked with it. If any of my watchers have done that, please, any tips I would love to know. Cause my husband's like, no, it's, it's too difficult, but I don't think it is from what I'm reading online. It says that the soil has a lot of nutrients in it. Um, and I mean the clay, so it's okay to grow things inside of it. But on, anyways, we do have a lot of ants, so I worry about the ants. All right, so here we go. It is so pretty. And I love this just like this because I feel like it's just really um, pretty like that. I just like it. And this is blending in way too much, but this was matching this pocket. I didn't need to do that. And I like it with this. Um, and I'll put this in my description if you want this. But I love this bungee cord because it just matches everything and it's great for folios and I tried to find this in store and I could not find anything that like this was a huge roll that I got and it was like I got this one and a silver one and it was and this pretty I think it's over 100 feet or something but um for like ten dollars so even if you did get like a little roll in the store they just don't give you enough so and this has lasted me quite some time now but anyways thanks you guys i hope you like this little folio i think it's great for swaps oh wait no 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 hold on i have one tip so remember when we did our little pockets here the other day um this is just something i was noticing you can actually do this and you can do the same thing and take this pocket that we did and do the same exact thing we did and you'll have these cool little um it'll so you'll do that and glue it down just the way we did and you'll have these cool little pockets too so instead of putting your velcro here you'll put your velcro inside and they can like open it like that but you probably want this side to be on these punches to be on this side because um you know because they're going to open it and slide it out you don't want it this way but that was something i was like oh my gosh i have to make sure i tell them um just a fun little tip all right guys thank you so much